Google I.O. 2024 concluded with a strong emphasis on the company's Gemini AI models and their integration across various applications. The event showcased Google's advancements in AI technology, particularly in response to the growing competition from rivals like OpenAI. Now, just a day prior to Google I.O., OpenAI unveiled GPT-40, an updated version of its GPT-4 model powering ChatGPT. This move put the spotlight on Google to demonstrate its AI prowess and maintain its position as a leader in the field. I'm going to take a video and ask Google. Google Lens received a notable update, allowing users to search by recording videos and asking questions during the recording. Google's AI analyzes the video content and provides relevant answers from the web, making the search experience more interactive and intuitive. Wow. Very helpful. All together in a summary. The Ask Photos feature powered by Gemini enables users to query their Google Photos library with the AI model providing answers and relevant images based on the user's questions. CEO Sundar Pichai demonstrated this feature by asking Gemini to identify his license plate number, showcasing the model's ability to process and understand specific information. And just tells you the license plate number. Later, we introduce Gemini 1.5 Pro. Google introduced Gemini 1.5 Flash a new multimodal model optimized for fast responses in specific tasks. Additionally, improvements were announced for Gemini 1.5, enhancing its translation, reasoning and coding capabilities. The context window of Gemini 1.5 Pro has been doubled, allowing the model to process and understand more information. Let's see how this comes to life with Google Workspace. Paid subscribers of Workspace will soon benefit from the integration of Gemini 1.5 Pro in the sidebar of various apps, transforming Gemini into a general-purpose assistant. This integration will enable Gemini to retrieve information from Drive content and assist with tasks such as writing emails and setting reminders. I give you the highlights. Project Astra, Google's ambitious multimodal AI assistant, aims to become a comprehensive virtual assistant that can understand visual input, remember object locations, and perform tasks on behalf of users. Demonstrations showcase Astra's impressive capabilities, such as identifying elements in an office environment, locating misplaced objects, and suggesting code improvements. It also hinted at the return of Google Glass. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. <laughs> Google introduced Vio, a generative AI model capable of producing 1080p videos based on text, image, and video-based prompts. Vio is being offered to select creators for use in YouTube videos and is also being pitched to Hollywood for potential use in films, showcasing its versatility and potential impact on content creation. GEMS, a custom chatbot creator built on Gemini, allows users to customize the chatbot's responses and specializations. This feature empowers users to create chatbots tailored to their specific needs, providing a more personalized and efficient conversational AI experience. To enhance voice chats with Gemini, Google introduced Gemini Live. This feature incorporates personality updates to Gemini's voice, allows users to interrupt the chatbot and enables Gemini to watch through the user's smartphone camera and provide real-time information. Gemini will also receive new integrations with Google Calendar, Tasks and Keep, making it a more versatile and helpful assistant. With AI at the core, and it starts Android users can now benefit from the Circle to Search feature, which helps solve maths problems by simply circling them on the screen. Google's AI breaks down the problem into steps, making it easier for students to understand and complete thus enhancing the learning experience. 
Google Search is receiving a significant AI update with AI overviews, which utilizes a specialized Gemini model to design and populate search result pages with summarized answers from the web. This feature aims to provide users with concise and relevant information, streamlining the search experience and reducing the need to navigate through multiple web pages. People lost more than $1 trillion to fraud last year. Android phones will soon feature AI-powered scam detection, using on-device Gemini Nano AI to identify common scammer conversation patterns and display warnings to users. This feature highlights Google's efforts to leverage AI to improve user security and protect against fraudulent activities. Google Chrome is getting an AI assistant in the form of Gemini Nano. This built-in assistant will use on-device AI to help users generate text for various purposes within the Chrome browser on desktop, streamlining tasks such as composing emails, writing social media posts or creating product reviews. Google announced the expansion of SynthID, its AI watermarking technology. SynthID will now embed watermarking into content created with the VO video generator and has gained the ability to detect AI-generated videos, addressing concerns about the authenticity and origin of AI-generated content. Google showcased the progress in multimodal AI with audio overviews in Notebook LM, which uses Gemini 1.5 Pro to take source materials and generate a personalized and interactive audio conversation. This feature demonstrates the potential of AI to create engaging and tailored audio experiences. To support the growing demand for AI computing power, Google announced its sixth generation of TPUs called Trillium delivering a significant improvement in performance per chip. Alongside TPUs, Google offers CPUs and GPUs to support any workload, including the new Axion processors and NVIDIA's cutting-edge Blackwell GPUs. Google's AI hypercomputer will allow businesses and developers to tackle more complex Everyone challenges with increased line. efficiency. And the millions more watching around the world. Here's to the possibilities ahead and creating them together. Thank you.